Hey everyone, it's Carol with My Graphic Fairy. Um, I know I've been promoting a lot of different fonts lately that have what they call glyphs, or some of the sites call them PUA glyphs, which all that means is the font has more characters to it than the standard alphabet and numbers and you know typical keyboard symbols um if you don't use illustrator because illustrator makes it very easy to see them like we will use um and i'll use samantha as an example here but what i'm getting ready to show you won't work but like Samantha, for example, you have all these different choices for one simple letter. Um, but not everyone has Illustrator. But even if you don't have Illustrator, you can access these letters. If you, and I, I mean, e, Max. And window, Mac and Windows both have a built-in way to access your fonts. However, sometimes it's not so easy to decide what you want. Over here on Creative Fabrica, they have this new tool called new tool called Font Cloud, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it actually makes it really easy to be able to see what your fonts have. I'll wait for the <gasps> waiting for the fonts to load. Okay. So now my fonts are loaded. Um let me find one that I know has extra characters. The site actually usually runs faster, but because I'm screen recording, it is slowing my computer down. And probably because I have so many. Here we go. We will use desire as an example. I know that one. I know that one off the top of my head has these extra characters. Okay. So now that we're in here. And we will. Let's see. We want to. Make my name fancy so we'll click the C and it puts it up here and you can scroll down and you can find the other letters you want and basically you can sit here and just pick exactly which letters you want L. And just like that, you can just highlight this and copy it. just go over into design space uh -huh. um, yes thank you do 
get a project, do text, paste it here, and you'll get some boxes to start. Then you just go up here to the font, find the font that you used, and it automatically does this for you. Now, clearly, that is not what it looked like <laughs> over on the other screen. So now you just mm -hmm. go to Advance, Ungroup to Letters, and then you can shift everything around how you want it to look. Once you've made it how you want to look, you're going to highlight them all together, um, do Attach, now they're together and then you can cut it <laughs> so that is I would say a quick easy way to access these fonts that have the special characters on any system opposed to having to use each systems built-in feature which kind of makes it hard to see what all the characters look like because I can tell you on Mac when you go into font book <laughs> this so happens you have too many fonts okay <laughs> And here you can tell, even if you mean, I can make them bigger, get an idea. But there's no way of like typing out a phrase to be able to see. Maybe there is. What is this? Anyways. You can see them, but don't think there's any way of copying them. No, oh, yeah, if you go to creativefabrica.com slash font cloud, that gives you all your fonts. It's kind of like Wordmark, but you can actually access your glyphs by clicking the link underneath each font. So I hope that has been helpful. I am trying to do more tutorial videos. I know I have been kind of lax in it, but finding quiet time, free quiet time lately, has been a little difficult. <laughs> Hope that's been helpful. Subscribe, and I will put up more videos soon. Thanks.